Welcome to this new video in which I'll show you how to upload videos to YouTube in bulk. In this template, I use a Google Sheet to list the videos to be uploaded. So there you have it. It's relatively simple. I have four columns. The first column is the full path to the video file. The second column is the title. The third is the description. And the fourth is privacy. Do I want the video to be private, public, or unlisted? As an aside, if you want to scan a directory on your computer so that you don't have to enter by hand the names of the videos you want to upload, it's perfectly possible with Automa and PHP. With a little PHP script that scans a directory, directory on your computer, Automa will automatically retrieve the list of all videos contained in this directory. Here's the template demonstration. Here it is. It starts with the first video. It goes very quickly, entering the title and description, so we barely have time to see. Here's the first one. The second video. And the third and last video on my list. So obviously you can capture a lot more. Here, the idea was to show you with these three videos, the principle. And there you have it. So logically, if I go back to my videos, as you can see, it worked. The first video, so this is my title three, my description three in private. My title three, my description three, private. The second, my title one, my description one, unlisted. My title one, my description one, unlisted. And the last, unsurprisingly, my title two, description two, private. My title two, description two, private. So there you have it. In one click, that's how I uploaded all my videos to YouTube and set them up the way I wanted. Now for the demo, the only parameters I used were the title, description, privacy, but of course, the principle is the same for all settings. You can go much further in the settings and configure different options when uploading. It's not that you're limited to these settings. It's just that for the demo, it was enough. There's no need to go any further, but feel free to add a lot more. For example, choose a playlist, define the audience, various options you might want to modify. Along the way, the principle is the same with Automa. It's very simple. Clicks, input into forms. So anything is possible. So how does the template works? First, we start with the Google Sheet block. We enter the ID, which I, I've actually hard-coded in global data. Global data in Automa are, in fact, dynamic data such as variables that can be accessed at any stage of the template. So in this case, it's not mandatory. The advantage of dynamic data is when you have a lot of blocks or when you reuse the same blocks. In the event of maintenance, in the event of a value update of the value, imagine this Google Sheet ID. We use it several times in the template. If we write it in hard copy, the day it changes, it means you have to change it everywhere. As many times as there are two blocks, this is where if we use a variable in the form of global data or a pure variable, well, you change it once in the variable. And this change applies to all blocks that use the variable. So what am I going to read in my Google Sheet? The tab, the sheet, video, which is called video here. The columns from A to D, I read all this. And I give a name to this configuration, which I call video. That's so I know which Google Sheet I'm referring to. From here, I create my loop, which will allow me to read each line of my Google Sheet automatically based on my Google Sheet, which I named beforehand. Video, from there, what did I do? I opened the upload URL on YouTube, uploaded this video to the YouTube form. Then I 
in the window that appears during upload. I enter my title, which I retrieve here in the Google Sheet through the loop. So here's where the subtlety comes in. You have to understand that when you read a value in a Google Sheet without a loop, the mustache syntax, i.e. the dynamic syntax in Automa, which is between doubles and collades, we always start with the source of the data. So when it's a Google Sheet without a loop, the source of the data is Google Sheet. Point after the searched value. Here, we're in a loop. Even if it's a loop based on a Google Sheet, in this case, we're in a loop. So the source of the data is the loop. So loop data, which one? The one with the video ID, which I've named here. And in fact, as it refers to a Google Sheet, afterwards, it's going to read a column here called title. So basically, we're on the first line. When the loop is first executed, and it's going to read this. So I enter the title of my first video on the first iteration of the loop. Then the same thing happens with the description. The CSS selector that changes to properly target the right field to fill in. Next, I'll click on the tab. I don't necessarily have it in front of me anymore, but the tab, the last tab of the upload window, concerns the visibility, the video's confidentiality. So here, I go to this tab, click on it, which then allows me to choose the privacy I want to apply to my video. So with a whole formula, with a dynamic value to target, the right checkbox. From there, I apply a small two-second delay to make sure that my setting has been made correctly. I click on the button to save the video. I wait until there's a button in a new window that says my video has been uploaded, so a closed button. So if I get this new little pop-up window indicating that my video has been uploaded with a closed button, it means that my upload is complete, so I can move on to the next step. So what do I do? I've reached the end of my loop, which means I'll go back to the beginning here, and we'll simply move on to the next line, and so on. So basically, you see about 10 blocks more or less, it's very easy to upload videos on Massa to YouTube and customize them with title, description, various options. While you do something else, your videos are uploaded one by one and then YouTube does its job. So with Automa, it's really very simple. You'll find this template in my Automa training so you can analyze and test it for yourself. It's normal that you didn't understand everything, but let me reassure you, this is not a training video but a demonstration, because the aim of my training is precisely to gradually teach you how to master Automa so that you can feel at ease with all templates, so that you'll be comfortable with all templates. Did you like this video? Then please feel free to like, comment, and share it. That's what keeps me going. And if you've got any ideas for templates for future videos, let me know in the comments. And of course, if you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe to my channel.